All right, guys, we're excited for today's video. If you guys saw our last video, we got a lot of positive feedback with the new content style and filmer. So stay tuned, we're doing more cool stuff. On today's episode, we have a lot going on. We have a vandalized black badge Cullinan Rolls Royce that the guy literally threw, uh, threw himself through the back seat. We have a beautiful Urus wide body, which is in a satin pearl white color, has every part of 1016 offers on that vehicle. We also have two Mybox in this episode. One of them has a crazy graphical wrap with snake skin and snakes all over it, including the hood with a 3D snake, so really crazy. And then we have a Mybox that's done in a classy way, two-tone wrap, so that's really, really nice as well. Yeah, so stay tuned and we got a lot more for you guys. We got this uh, brand new V12 Maybach behind me. This is the S680 and um, beautiful car. It looks factory, but it's not. This car originally is just all black. And uh, as you guys already know, we do a lot of two-tone colored Maybach. This is a little bit different because uh, we didn't do the standard matte black satin black we did a metallic matte black finish so it kind of has like a grayish tone because it has little pearls in it we did half of it which includes the front bumper rear bumper and the side the mybach has a really really nice body line that follows throughout so it's perfect for two-tone as you guys know my box come two-tone from factory with an option we have wheels coming for it unfortunately not ready yet so it has the factory champagne flute wheels they call them because the design of them are champagne flutes, which are the champagne glasses, if you didn't know. Really nice wheels, honestly. Uh, we also did Maybach emblems. This car comes with the Mercedes star in the front and the trunk. Honestly, I don't know why, but uh, first thing you do on these cars is change out the Maybach emblems. We get a really good metal one in the front and we get the light up one for the trunk. We also rewire them so they stay on when the ignition is on because they only come on when you lock and lock them via Mercedes-Benz. So, Maybach, this is, this is an awesome car. We've done a lot of them and they still look amazing. They're timeless, they're classic. Hope you enjoy it. There's a bug on you, bro. Wow. So it's rubbing? Yeah. All right, so we have a problem here, you guys. It's rubbing. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take off that piece um, for now because we need to uh, help this customer out right this second, so that's what we're gonna do. Temporary fix. It's called a temporary fix. Take it out now, and then they'll bring the car back later to do it the right way. Maybe one year, two years of sports betting? You'll have one. I hope so. When's your course gonna drop? Hmm? Your course. The what? Your sports betting course. I don't know. It's coming? It's coming. It's coming. Definitely coming, yeah. <laughs> we have another one today. Hey man, can you close my window when you're doing this? That's what I'm thinking. You're gonna smell like uh... like rubber ass. Rubber ass. Oh yes. no, yeah, like your face. It smells good. Yeah. My face smells good. <laughs> okay, um, my car needed a little bit of a redo, so uh, we had to take the bumper out. I don't know how that's gonna work. Probably gonna, whatever. So he's taking the glue off. We painted my flares. We're gonna glue it back on. We got a badass carbon fiber Aventuri intake system on my car now. Uh, a little refresh from time to time. Needed a service. Uh, had a little bit of coolant leaking. Fix that. So yeah, right now he's doing that and we're gonna be painting it and installing it back on my car and bringing back my beast. <laughs> We got this really beautiful Urus right here. This is actually the older model Urus. It's not the S or the Performante, uh, which, you know, I actually prefer the older Uruses, but 
This is done in a clean way. It has a full 1016 Industries V2 kit. It's all carbon fiber. The V2 kit really is uh, a little bit of an addition to the original kit to make it look a little bit more up to date. Really, it uses these wing tips that go on the roof spoiler. This is a 1016 roof spoiler, and these are the wing tips that kind of resemble the Performante. So pretty cool to have that. Also, the hood has those carbon fiber vents to also look more updated. But yeah, this car is wrapped in a satin pearl white, one of my favorite wrap colors ever. Literally the same color as uh, my Range Rover. And it has, obviously you guys know, the infamous wide body kit that we do, that we put our extra love and attention to. It has zero gaps. You can't fit a piece of paper through the flare. And there's no rubber sealer, anything like that going throughout. It's all perfectly done. Fitman is badass with our RDB revolver wheels. So much going on with this car. This car costs about two times the Performante wide body kit because it has so much more parts. So it's actually cheaper to do the Performante wide body than this. But I love the old Eurus and I think you guys do too. Five seconds, hold on. Why five seconds? I, I'm trying to, we're trying to explain a job here. I know it's not a Lamborghini, but it's still an important job. <laughs> okay. Are you doing it purposely because it's not a Lamborghini? Toyota can be. Okay. All right, so we have <laughs> we have a Dodge Neon here, uh, right? Is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure we have the right car. This car came in on a tow truck, absolutely zero shifting, no clutch. Clutch is completely bad. Uh, Javier's putting in a new one right now. This thing comes together with the clutch and flywheel together, one piece, as you guys can see. So he's putting it on right now. There goes that old transmission on the car, still good. So we're just doing a clutch replacement right now. And uh, I think Javier will have this thing ready a little bit later today to get back to the customer. Make sure it's not so, you guys, I'm... I, I, okay. Uh, so, yeah, we do everything here. You guys know that already. Doesn't matter what you guys drive. Mechanical, bodywork, all that stuff. Come to the best. Oh. <laughs> now you can fucking make your... Whatever you're doing. Do it. Do it. So, ahorita estamos tratando de cambiar ese clutch, el clutch de ese carro, el cual Javier. Sí, ¿cómo te llamas? Uh, ¿Cómo te llamas? Luisito. Sí, ¿cuántos años tienes? 54. 54, 54. 54. Sí, sí. ¿Qué más? ¿Ah? ¿Qué más quieres saber? ¿Casado? Sí. ¿Qué estás haciendo aquí? ¿Casado? Sí. ¿Qué estás haciendo Casado. aquí? Oh. Sí. Limpiando los flares de tu patrón. Ah, ok. Ok. De tu macho. Sí. <laughs> No tengo nada que decir. This Rolls Royce Ghost, you guys know this is a client of ours that has multiple cars that he does the same exact designs and stuff. So this is another wrap. Um, you guys see that all the door jams have been done. Looks really, really nice. This one we did a little different. The hood has 3D printing of a snake, which is amazing. There's snakes all across this car, trunk, sides, everything. Door jams is done. This is being delivered to the customer's house now. We also have another one of his cars coming back for something different, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we have this uh, black badge Cullinan behind me. This is a beautiful spec Cullinan. It's white with purple interior. You don't see this often. I actually really like this spec because it's not out there, like the oranges, the red, even blue. This is purple inside. So really, really nice. This car unfortunately is here because it was in a little bit of a predicament. He was shopping, grocery shopping, and somebody broke into his car. They started with trying to break the side windows, which you will see right here and right here. There's multiple little areas where the person tried to break through it. It did not work, so he went to the back. The back, unfortunately, shatters much easier because the bigger window shattered it. And then he jumped through the back of it. As you can see, it's all scraped right here from the glass. He dove through the middle, stole a bag, came back out and left. Uh, a lot of people saw it. So the, they unfortunately did not catch the guy. He ran away really fast. This was all done in a matter of 30 seconds, but he did a police report and now it's going through insurance to fix it. It doesn't look like 
a big deal for somebody like this. Oh, you know, broke my glass, but there's glass all the way in the front seat. Um, and then also a lot of the leather has been damaged now. You got to remove the whole interior, take the glass out. So this is going to be a quite a big uh, claim, even though it's just a glass breakage. And uh, we're going to fix it here for the customer. So yeah, even when it's something like this, whether it's this or a wrap or a heavier accident or whatever, we do all of it here at RDB. I'm going to fucking shave your eyebrows, bro. Oh, what did you say for this YouTube episode? If he gets half a million views, we're going to shave his head. Did he? This next, yeah, the I was, YouTube. I, I, half was a million. I was texting the customer for the job. That's why. It's going to hit 650,000 our next video. I'm telling you right now. 650. I mean, 600? if it doesn't, then I don't know what you guys are doing. You got to start watching. Okay. Which one? Terminator? Yeah. <laughs>